it's good for understanding the basic concepts of graphs and trees as in mostly algorithms of trees and graphs cool uh, it says that okay we are you're given the root of the binary tree and you have to return the leftmost value in the last row of that tree now for sure we'll do the exact same stuff we will go on to the last row and then we'll go to the last row and then we'll go on and only go to the leftmost value first as we go on to every row because we, okay, again our ultimate aim maksad is that we have to go on to every row one by one one by one and on every row if i'm going i will make sure that i will only go on to my leftmost value right so let's say if this is a tree i have expanded a tree bit more so you can see my main aim is last row because i have to reach the last row but in that my main aim is the leftmost value the leftmost value so answer is 8 for this now for sure for this what we can do one thing is okay i will try to go to the last row but again which means i will go on to every depth every depth i'll keep on going keep on going but i'll also make sure i'm only going on the left okay okay left but are you in left it's it's here okay a simple dfs traversal. Like basically we are doing a simple tree traversal to go to the maximum depth okay are you, so you said that you want to go to left only so okay you you went left is it good no i will keep on going okay maybe this is the answer i will right now initially store this as my answer but but maybe i can improvise my answer so right now my let's say depth is one cool now again a dfs traversal it will go back to parent and then go back to this right child so it will go back go here to again it is at the same depth as of one so it is not a good candidate for my leftmost bottom leftmost child okay then i go on to my left okay depth increase depth is two so now this is my new candidate okay now three is my bottom leftmost value now update it again let's say answer is bottom left value for me earlier it was three sorry earlier it was one now it is three okay then again i will go on to my left yeah depth again increased again depth again increased it did not remain same it increased then okay i'll update my answer it is six now i cannot go left okay i'll go back and then do a right traversal then depth is still same so answer will not increase depth okay left is not like left is nothing so it will go right depth increased bro depth increased so answer update to eight okay parent 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 two then right depth is still less than my existing depth because see i will keep track of the maximum depth maximum depth i have reached four so any depth after four because when i was here maximum depth was three so any depth after three was the one candidate with whom i updated my answer which is the bottom leftmost value and then here is the depth two depth three depth four so answer will not increase or not changed so you saw that i'm going on to the I'm going on and trying on going on depth, 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 depth. And at every depth, if my depth increases, it means my existing depth is more than my maximum depth, which I've got so far, then I will update my answer. Answer is my bottom left value. And this is, I'll keep on going on the, on the depth, increasing the depth, and then only go on the left value first, so that I update my left value and say, okay, this is the leftmost value. So code is exactly same that firstly, I initialize two global variables, max depth and bottom left value, and initialize with them minus one and zero respectively. You can also say depth as like say minus one is so far your bottom left value has not been updated yet. Or you can also put the root value here and uh, a zero here. Both will work, but still, uh, don't put headache. Put up default less values. Or you can also put minus one here. No worries. Now I'll do a simple DFS traversal, but in that I know one thing that I will keep track of the depth right and if my depth is more than my maximum depth so far i've obtained i will update my maximum depth and i also update my bottom left value because i know i am first going on to my left and then i am going on to my right so for sure if depth is increasing and i know it is the left it, it is a left person first on whom i am going so for sure i will be updating the left value itself bottom most is by depth left value is because of left value i'm going on to first cool let's say if i have asked you what's the right value so you would have just modified it you would have put this right one first and left one downwards this is how you would have reached onto the bottom most left value and let's say if i have asked you at a specific level give me the right most value then also you could have modified that cool now um ultimately you will populate your bottom left value with the 
left most value or the maximum depth and then return that value as you know it's a simple dfs traversal so in the worst case you can go on to every node and for sure you are going to all the nodes so for sure the time is o of n and if the tree is skewed so space is o of n now we solve with the simple dfs but we can do the exact same stuff by via a bfs also but again dfs is much more short simple and easy bfs is also easy no worries uh, it's just that we do exact same stuff as we saw above that we have to go into a last row and again we will keep on going and keep on going and grabbing the leftmost element so exact same stuff let's say if i am here i will again how a bfs work it is it it goes level wise okay i know for sure if i'm going on to the next level depth is increasing so i can keep track of the okay this is my depth is zero next level is this depth is one depth is two depth is three depth is four so as you know in a queue like bfs is a queue in a queue you push the elements okay i'll push the elements one two so basically in this specific queue elements will be pushed one two in this queue three five in this queue six seven and nine in this queue eight and ten in this queue only four so and i can just simply grab out the queue elements so i know if my depth is increasing so the first element i grab out from the queue will be my answer right so i'll do the exact same stuff as i saw above also that i'll keep track of the maximum depth depth and bottom left value again depth is this specific depth which you saw here itself okay where is it gone this is the depth which you passed in as you can see this goes into your recursive call cool now uh, exact same stuff initially you push just the root, root element in the queue then while your queue is not empty you go on and check okay for this current level okay in a in a bfs you say level and in a dfs you use depth but yeah in current depth or uh, level you have these many number of elements in your queue so please remove all the elements first and then go on to the next step so initially it is my first level which means one of the levels is being done so i'll increase my depth and then this is a simple bfs traversal in which you pop out the front element and then you go on to your left and then you go on to your right as simple as that how a uh, simple bfs works just exact same thing we have wrote if your maximum depth is less than the depth itself then update the maximum depth and also grab the bottom leftmost value because how it will happen that this is the new depth which you have formed if the depth has increased which means you are at a new level so the leftmost element which it it will be the first element which you will be popping out from your queue itself and that first element which you will pop out from the queue at a new level or at a new depth will be your leftmost value let's say if i go on to the next step so okay it is a new depth it is a new candidate for me so earlier right as you saw above my answer was a four in the in the very beginning which means bottom leftmost value it got updated to a one this is a new candidate then a three is a new candidate then a six is a new candidate then a eight is a final candidate for my answer and this is my answer itself cool and as you can see exact same stuff we have written and done by bfs although i'll say dfs is much more what i prefer again it's a total up to you that if you want to do a bfs or dfs cool thank you for watching goodbye take care bye bye again i don't know why yesterday's question i i see it's 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 my thought yesterday's question was actually medium and this is actually easy to think and to implement both ways bye bye